Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, I want to provide a solution to your first challenge. So this is very exciting. Uh, remember that we had our first challenge and our challenge was to uh, write a C program that displays your first name as output. And so you're going to write and run your first C program. You're going to need to follow all the steps that you do when compiling and editing and so forth. So here's our solution. Um, I'm going to bring up code blocks. We have to do that because that's the IDE that we use to edit and run our pro C programs, right? So when this comes up, uh, because we're creating our first C program, we need to create a new project. So we're going to go to File, New, and we're going to say New Project. And I believe I told you to um, name the project. Uh, I don't think I told you to give a name to it. You can give it a name, whatever you want. I'm going to name this project, just I'm going to name it Test. And this is going to create a, a project somewhere. And remember that uh, we want to create our C source code file manually. And so our first thing I want to do is I want to delete this auto-generated file. You don't always want to do this because it's useful that the code is generating, but for learning purposes, we want to delete it. So we're just going to say remove file from project. Now, according to the uh, assignment requirements, instructions, we want to create a new source file called test.c. So we can highlight the project name. We can say file new, and we can say empty file. And we can just say yes for this dialog box that comes up. And we want to name the file um, test.c. So we're just going to say test.c and we're going to say save. And we're going to then say OK. And you'll notice that now under your project, on your management uh, pane in your projects tab, there's a new file called test.c. I then told you that you should uh, just basically copy some source code that I provided for you, um, which is what I'm going to do now. This source code you don't need to fully understand yet. I'll explain some of it in the next lecture, some of the basics. But basically, it contains a basic example of a C program. There is uh, something here on line 5. Line 5 is doing the main work. It's actually outputting data to the screen using a printf function. I gave you instructions that you should modify this to put, print your name. So here in the dots, you would actually type your name. I'm going to type Jason. You then have to make sure the file is saved, so I'm going to hit Control S, or I'm going to go up to File, and I'm going to say Save All Files. Once it's saved, you then want to follow the process of compilation, linking, and running. In order to compile this code, we have to go up to the Build menu option, and we have to say Build. That will issue the comp compilation command. When we say that, you'll see. When we execute that, you'll see in the Build.log window. You'll see that it compiled and it also linked. You know that it compiled because it uses dash C, uses the test.c files input, and then the dash O is doing the linking. It's linking all those object files. And there were no errors, and that's what you want to see if you write code. You don't want to see any errors in compilation. If there were an error there, you'd have to go back and you have to edit the source code. I also demonstrated that. Once the compilation and the linking is successful, you then want to run your program. So you go back up to build option and you say run. And then this will actually run your program. It will bring up the DOS prompt window and you see the output here, which says, hi, my name is Jason. And that means the program was run correctly with the correct output. I analyzed the window and I verified that it's correct. And so now I'm done. If that wasn't correct, I'd have to go back and edit my source file and I'd have to fix it. And that would be part of debugging, which we haven't talked about exactly yet, but everything worked successfully. So we completed our first challenge. I'm going to include this source code so that you can just download it and download the entire project and load it up inside of um, code blocks. Thank you.